And that's how, because I don't meet anybody. I, I meet young mentees on my travels, but I mean, uh, I don't need business deals. I don't want business deals. I tell people, I, leave me alone. And, but this guy, this guy was slick. He was, you know, a slick promoter. And he got to me through my meathead. And you were just so happy. I mean, uh, the you. The meathead was just so fucking happy. He thought all his birthdays came at once. He didn't know whether to shit or go blind. He was, he, he was, he was pogo sticking down the road on his heart on. He had a perpetual heart on. <laughs> and then when the guy got up and left, I said, didn't you, I mean, why would this guy meet with you? Well, you said that, there, you know, but I mean, this guy is already a wealthy, I mean, uh, the guy is a shaker and, I mean, I mean, he's going to rape you and leave you naked in the street. I mean, and he would have, he would have. But anyway, it was funny. I, I, I could just, uh, something not right here. This guy's coming in wearing a $10,000 suit like I am, you know? I mean, it's something, something not right. And I was right. And he admitted it, though. He admitted it. It's funny. But I mean, Hollywood, you know, the, 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 the Southern California, they've been in this, their brains are baked by the sun. I mean, they're flaky. Southern California is just generally flaky. Because, the sun, you know, the joke is from New Yorkers, they out in the sun too much. Their brains got baked, fried. A lot of truth in that, though. But it's fried by drugs and shit like that, not by the sun. Because now you can't go into the fucking sun. Sun's bad. You used to go in the sun to get vitamin D. It used to be. Vitamin D must be bad now, I guess. I don't know. I don't really give a shit. You know, um, but I'm a guy that's, uh, that when I get in the sun, I turn, um, not Ethiopia. Uh, who's, no, there's no way to color. Anyway, I turn really dark. And... Um, the, and my blue eyes, like the devil, I mean. And so, but I used to live in the sun. I used to live in the sun. And I'm supposed to get cancer. I should have, had, I should have died from cancer 35 years ago. I used to drink a fifth of whiskey a day and at least a bottle or two of wine a day. Every day. Week after week, month after month, year after year. I buried five doctors, five of my personal physicians, five. They told me from 19, early 70s to about 10 years ago, I pissed on one of their graves. I said, I'll piss on your grave. He was a big fucking Swede, looked like an Adonis. I'll piss on your grave. I did. Piss on his grave. But um, my dad drank a bottle of whiskey and a half. For 60 years, he smoked five packs of cigarettes for 65 years a day. You can't beat good genes. All the rest is bullshit. Not all the rest, but a lot of the rest is bullshit. You can't beat good genes. Like I told you, the only way we die less than 90 is we're caught fucking somebody's old lady in somebody else's bed. Get shot by the husband or the significant other. Or now it's their partner. What a load of shit. <laughs> and we're pregnant. That is wrong on so many levels. I, I, Listen to me, YouTubers. That is wrong on so many levels. I can't begin. I could give a seminar for a fucking week. We're pregnant. Are we going to take a shit now? <laughs> How do we get a blowjob? Hey, I mean, the world is fucked up. Now, they say I could do a tour. Like a Vegas stand-up deal like Mike Tyson does in Vegas. I've never seen Mike's deal. Because I'm funny as shit. I really am. Uh, and it's just poking fun at the obvious. Poking fun at the obvious. But people don't like to have fun poked at them. They're too sensitive. 
And why are they sensitive? Because they have low self-esteem. And I can go on and on and on. I can go on and on and on. Who's my five o'clock today? Six. Seven. Dinner's at eight. No, drinks are eight. Dinner's at eight thirty. Right? What time is it? Okay. Yeah, okay. Some of you are from these the most miserable economies on the planet. There was a slide I was using uh, for the college students. My, my talk, Wealth, Risk, Reward, Not, has been very popular. I've got about what, 45 requests, CAT, in 10, 12, 15 countries. Yeah, don't have time. I mean, can you come from Moscow to Borneo to fucking Vancouver to uh, Beijing? You know, they think that, you know, since they're not paying for my travels, they, they don't give a fuck. Uh, but um, the part of the wealth risk reward not is the financial system is busted and has been for arguably 50, 60 years. 50, 60 years. It is busted. When, you know, uh, when I was a kid, your parents, not in my neighborhood, your parents went to school, uh, went to school, went to work for a place, worked 40, 50 years, and maybe you got a gold watch. Those days are over. Okay, now you got whatever you got in your 401k or your IRA or whatever it's called. And so the kids, the kid the talks resonate because they realize it's bust because there's so many kids coming out of school that can't get jobs. And they're living at home. And I wouldn't live at home. I'd rather live on a park bench than live at home when I was a young guy. I just, it was, uh, shall we say, it would infringe on my lifestyle. We'll put it that way. You know, how can you drink and fuck and carry on? I've been living at home. You can't, right? I, but I may be drinking and fucking not important to the kids. Must not be, because they live at home. And that, you know, so the, uh, but uh, this, this chart, the miserable uh, economies, and there's another chart I don't use for this seminar, but I use it for the other seminar, or the other talk, is the, um, the, um, the, the countries that have uh, the, produced the, the best opportunities in the last 50 years. And uh, when I was in Poland, I said, that po Poland doesn't seem to be in there in the top 20 countries. And I told him, Poland's not in the top 100 countries. <laughs> and the Polish students, you know, were, um, and I think Britain was the fifth country in the US. I think Singapore was first on the list of opportunities. Um, and, um, but I mean, the kids understand the system is busted. And that's why QLA works so well. And that's one of the reasons QLA had its best year ever. And for those of you that have not read my um, message from New Year, YouTubers, it's on the internet. Read it. I mean, we had a banner year, part of which was because of the Trump train and you kids taking advantage of the Trump train. Not me. I did too, but I mean, overwhelmingly, it's the Trump train. And it's going to get better and better and better. And um, I mean... Virtually all the major stock market indices are up at records, 20, 30, 40 percent, not just America. Tens of trillions of dollars have been produced by the Trump train, the Trump era. And uh, you'll kick yourself. I mean, you will beat yourself. We talked about regrets earlier today. You will beat yourself for not taking advantage of the lowest interest rates. They're giving away money, literally fucking giving it away at banks. But see, you've been told banks are bad. Debt is bad. Debt, I'm being sarcastic. The Europeans call it debt. I don't know where they, man, they do, though. You've been told debt is bad. When I hear somebody that say they're debt-free, I want to kick their teeth in. I want to slap them. The, the kids, my kids, QLA kids, are doing deals at 3, 4, 5, 6% interest on loans. I did deals at 20% interest on loans. If your deal doesn't, if your dog can't hunt in today's interest rate environment, 
you ought to jump in front of a car. And it's easier to buy revenue than it is created. <coughs> I'm going to say it again. It's easier to buy revenue than create it. And that's what the QLA program is all about, buying revenue. It takes a majority of the risk out of the deal because they've already generated the revenue. Now, for those of you that have been in business, your first $50,000 revenue, remember that first $50,000 you had in revenue? That's geometric growth, zero to 50. And then remember the second $50,000 in revenue? That's still geometric growth from zero to 100. Why'd you stop? Because then you start coveting your assets. You start worrying about the money that you made. And you start worrying, more importantly, about losing it. So you sat down like a chicken, a hen on her, on her eggs. A turtle can only move forward when its legs and head are out of the shell, right? When it pulls its head in and its legs in, it can't move forward, can it? Can't move anything. When it's a in a riskless position, it can't move, can it? Most of your lives have been a turtle with its legs and head pulled in because you've been risk averse. There's a completely different life from playing not to lose than playing to win. Right now, you will be sue of motherfucking sidel over not taking advantage of the economic market now. Depp is good. The ghost says it's good too because the doors are going back and forth behind you. Depp is good. Greed is good, as Gordon Gecko said in the original Wall Street movie. But you have gen you've had three or four generations grow up. Depp is bad. And guess what? You're you're more or less debt free. And the, and the depth that you have is on your little house with two and a half bedrooms, 2.6 kids, and a little white picket fence around it. And that's it. Or maybe a condo. Oh, or God, a timeshare. Whoopee. You own a timeshare in Sarasota, Florida. Whoopee. Can't you see the benchmarks are so, whoops, are so fucking low? If you think that all the life is owning a fucking eighth of a timeshare in fucking Sarasota, Florida, somebody ought to kill you right now on the spot, metaphorically speaking. Got to satisfy my lawyers. Don't you see how wrong that is? Well, you do because you're here. Meatheads. I mean, guys. I'm so used to saying guys and gals, but guys, because there are no ladies here. I mean, um... The, uh, you know, the, the world is in a different place. Okay, kids, YouTube, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.